Hello everyone, I wanted to give you a quick update about SciChart.js, our JavaScript Web GL WebAssembly chart library that we're building now. Um, we believe we're going to be going to beta in about a month's time, so it's currently the 9th of September, uh, and we reckon that by the end of this month or, or shortly thereafter, we'll have at least a beta version out there. It's going to be a public beta, and um, we're going to be uh, giving people sort of a 30-day or a 60-day time to trial that and to give us feedback and put it back into the library. Um, so our state of play right now, I'm showing you a very early version of our SciChart.js example suite. Um, this is yet to be published, so I'm running this on localhost right now uh, under NPM. And we've built the following chart types. So we've got here candlestick charts with a palette provider. We have line charts with a gradient fill, uh, band series, bubble series, column series, um, fan charts, uh, we have real-time heat maps. Uh, so if I just click start on that, you can see this incredible performance of a real-time heat map spectrogram for SciChart.js JavaScript charts. Uh, and we have um, some classics like mountain charts, OHLC, um, scatter charts. Um, and we also have some uh, types down here, such as stacked column, um, grouped column or stacked side by side and stacked mountain charts. So these are the chart types that we're aiming to go live with in version one. Um, of course, you'll have uh, things like tooltips, um, you'll have legends, um, and SiteShot.js, one of the, the big things that we're aiming for with our JavaScript charts is incredible real-time performance. So this example here, this is a real-time example of um, I think it's 10 series and something like 25,000 points per series. I'm not exactly sure. And we apply a shader effect onto it. Because we're using WebGL, we can do uh, glowing uh, shader effects, drop shadows, things like that. Um, also, uh, in addition to that, we'll be targeting sort of uh, financial uh, type applications. So this one is a, a demo of a real-time financial application. You can see that SciChart is, is very smooth. Um, the frame rate is very, very high. Um, and things like this, the ability to have multiple panels as well linked together. Um, still working on the tooltips here. Like for example, uh, I'm probably gonna get a little legend at the top rather than this um, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, I've already mentioned performance, but you know, to show you again, this one is uh, 500 series by 500 points. So that's uh, 250,000 points loaded in one go. Uh, and there you go, it loads instantly. And we also have um, the ability to add annotations over the chart, um, a little bit basic right now. We've got lines, boxes, SVG. Um, we can also do custom and text annotations, but we haven't uh, quite put that in the examples app yet. Um, styling, theming, that sort of thing. So we're gonna have point markers, uh, custom point markers. We can have themes, uh, light and dark. Um, and uh, the ability to completely custom style a chart uh, as you wish. Um, we have a feature called the palette provider that lets you color individual data points based on a rule. Um, still developing this, but it's quite a useful feature. For example, it is used uh, over here um, to color the volume bars and the MACD bars here, different colors based on a rule. Um, and also we will be delivering some basic 3D charts. So we have a three-dimensional chart here, which is a 3D bubble chart and not quite created the example yet, um, but we have a 3D surface mesh as well. So there you have it. This is SciChart.js, um, JavaScript charts, high performance, uh, real time using WebGL and WebAssembly. When we go live, we will be producing documentation. So I'm currently in the process of writing this documentation right now. There's a lot of topics to write, um, but we've obviously done this before, so it's possible for us to um, reuse some of that knowledge. Um, and we'll be, um, you know, creating this kind of documentation, uh, and it will be going live with it on day one. We will also be producing tutorials. So I have uh, personally created a number of vanilla JavaScript tutorials, um, which show you the API like this. And we're gonna be creating YouTube videos for these as well. So if you're not a subscriber to our YouTube, head on over to youtube.com uh, slash SciChart and you can find all of these things in here. Um, the tutorials are not yet live, um, but we do have a, uh, a tutorials uploaded. Um, they are uh, hidden at the moment and they will be uploaded uh, pretty shortly. So there you go. There you have it. SciChart.js, 
um, is a work in progress. We're going to be uh, releasing this pretty soon as a beta. You'll be able to try it out in JavaScript and TypeScript apps. We'll be releasing uh, examples, um, and our examples are, are, they are TypeScript React, but there's very little React in here. It's mostly sort of vanilla stuff. Um, and then we'll be taking feedback. Thank you for your attention, and um, yeah, look forward to hearing your feedback about this soon.